The region of Trentino Alto Adige in the north of Italy has a number of interesting and helpful facts that make it very attractive to people who love winter sports and fresh mountain air, and people who love hiking, trekking and exploring the wonders of nature during the spring, summer and autumn months. So, what's your preference for the time of year you'd like to visit this part of Italy? Before you answer that question, quickly check out the ongoing collection of news, reports, resources and courses on this channel, how to make your introduction to expat life in Italy and La Dolce Vita even sweeter. It's so easy. Just click on the subscribe button below and then click the grey bell icon to ensure you don't miss out on future videos being uploaded. Plus, watch this video to the very end where you'll get access to a special report pack full of helpful ideas for when you visit or go to live in Italy. Here's 12 interesting and helpful facts about Trentino Alto Adige in Italy to help you determine not if but when you'd like to visit the region as follows. Number 1. The region borders Switzerland and Austria and is one of the few Italian regions not bordered by the sea. It's situated in the Italian Alps between Lake Garda and the Dolomites. The Italian cities of Milan, Venice and Verona can be easily reached. Trento is the capital city. Number 2. Being so close to Switzerland and Austria, you won't be surprised to learn that the region has a strong Germanic influence. And because of the historic ties to Austria, the area is locally referred to as Trentino South Tyrol. This is because the region was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire for many years before being part of Austria until it transferred to Italy as part of the post-World War I Treaty of Saint-Germain. Number 3. The name of Trentino derives from the city of Trento which was known as Tridentum in Roman times. The Latin word for this is Trident, a reference to the tops on the surrounding three hills of the city that look like tines on the Trident. Number 4. The geography of the region includes the Brenner Pass and the Adige River which flows through Bolzano and Trento to Verona in the Lombardy Plain. Owing to the heavily forested terrain, timber production is one industry of the region alongside dairy farming, fruit growing and wine production. The mineral rich soil is full of deposits of copper, iron, lead and zinc which are mined. The tourism is active all year round. There are about 300 lakes in the region, of which Lake Moreno is regarded as the most picturesque lake in Italy. The region has three nature parks catering for all outdoor activities including mountain biking, climbing, hiking and walking and swimming. The Trentino Alto Adige region covers an area of over 5,200 square miles and has a population of about 1.1 million. Number 5. Transport. There are no airports in the region, with the nearest being about two hours away in Bergamo, Verona and Venice in Italy and Innsbruck in Austria. Easy access by cars, buses and by trains is available. Number 6. It's a skier's paradise with the dominant peaks of the Dolomites providing some challenging runs and well-known ski resorts such as Canizé and Madonna di Campiglio to enjoy yourself within the Dolomiti Super Ski District. In December to January, the towns of Trento and Navico hold Christmas markets. Number 7. Lake Gardo is also present in the region and is like a fjord. Number 8. Such is the influence on life caused by the mountainous terrain that there are many spa towns offering various natural therapies and treatments, such as in Murano. Number 9. There are just two provinces in the region. Trento, which is predominantly Italian speaking, and Bolzano, which is predominantly German speaking. Number 10. A local dialect spoken throughout the region is Ladin. Number 11. Food. Italian, Austro-Hungarian and German food ensure you are spoilt for choice when it comes to choosing delicious dishes, such as hearty meat and vegetable stews with dumplings, polenta and pasta. For example, 1. 
owing to the rich mineral soil that helps grow herbs, wildflowers and nutritious grass. The dairy farming in the region produces plenty of milk for the creation of over 200 different types of cheese. 2. Pasta here is unlike pasta in most other parts of Italy. Casunzie is a beetroot stuffed ravioli with poppy seeds, while Schlutzkrappen is a dish of pasta parcels filled with spinach and ricotta. Then there is spetzla, a type of egg pasta eaten throughout the Germanic countries. 3. Dumplings are almost a necessity for any type of stew. Canadale is probably the best known in the region and are made of bread with ingredients like speck, herbs and cheese which are then served in rich beefy stews. Strango Laprati dumplings are made with potato, flour, spinach and cheese served in soups and stews. 4. Ham is known as speck and is a bit of a speciality in the region. The ham is cured with bay and juniper and then smoked and aged giving it a strong rich flavour. It's usually served with cheeses and rye bread and included in soups and as a filling for dumplings. 5. With dairy farming playing a major part of life in the region, it follows that meat is a big part of the diet here too. The good quality grazing pastures help produce good quality meat and the lamb and beef creates delicious stews and robust meals, especially when accompanied with vegetables and polenta. Sausages served with sauerkraut is a typical dish you will find being served in the restaurants. 6. Desserts definitely follow the Austrian culinary route. Apples play a big part of life here. An apple cake called Apfelkuchel is very popular as is the classic apple strudel. Sweet dumplings such as Canadali Tarnabakaki, a sweet apricot filling, go down very well. And then there is the unfortunately named Krapen, which is a donut filled with various jams. Number 12. Wine. Vineyards on the mountain slopes help produce refreshing white wines from the Gieberts Tramina grape, whilst the Lagrain and Schiava grape varieties produce red wines, of which the Terodigo is a popular red. A good white wine to savour is Nozziolo. Trenta Dot, a Spumanti sparkling wine, is produced in the region as well. Whilst this region is one of the lesser known regions of Italy for wine production, about 99% of the wines are made under the DOC classification, which is higher than anywhere else in the country. Grappa tends to be the after dinner drink of choice in the region. With that in mind, why not treat yourself to a grappa or a glass of wine from the region, or any Italian wine, whilst downloading and reading your special guide entitled You Can Start a Brand New Life in Italy. Just click on the URL link in the description box below this video, kindly leave a positive comment in the comment section below and then please share with friends and enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe and then click the grey bell icon to join an exclusive club of subscribers to be notified of all future videos being uploaded. Until next time, ciao for now.